Okay, in this exercise, you'll create a grading criteria set for a ditch grading. Then create three criteria in the set. Each grading criteria provides a, a standard formula for creating a graded slope. Individual criteria values can be locked so they cannot be changed for individual gradings. And you'll get to see that in a little bit. And we're going to create a, a criteria set. Now we're still in grading dash one in the tool space go to the settings tab once again expand the grading collection and then you'll see right here we have the grading criteria sets let's expand this now this is where you'll create a new grading criteria set then create two new criteria within a new set so what we'll do we can right click on this and create a brand new one. We get our grading criteria set properties dialog box. Then we can name it. We can name this ditch criteria set in the name field. You can enter in a description if you so choose, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click okay. And you see that it shows up within our grading criteria sets. Now we're going to create a grading criteria. We'll right click on the grading criteria set. Then we're going to select new. These are going to be for ditches. Okay, we've got our information tab in the, in the name field. We're going to type in distance at negative 6%. So it's going to grade at a distance at negative 6%, okay? You'll see what that means very shortly, if you don't know what that means. We'll go to the Criteria tab, and this is where the magic happens. The target is going to be distance. The distance is going to be 10 feet. The projection is going to be slope. Format is going to be grade, and grade is going to be negative 6%. Now for the grade parameter, is it perimeter or parameter? I think it's parameter. We're going to lock this. When you lock a grade value in grading criteria, you are not prompted to specify its value each time you use the criteria. Okay, so it becomes a, like, more or less like an automatic thing. So we're going to be clicking OK. And then we're going to create a second grading criteria. I'm going to put this in the ditch criteria set. This is going to be a brand new one. New. We're going to type in surface at 4 on 1 slope because we're keeping this stuff in the ditch criteria set okay this one the targets going to be surface projection cut and fill slope you see all these options that come up when you, when you choose different targets and whatnot You'll see that when, when we actually get into using these grading criteria, you'll see how the, the command line will, will begin to prompt us with, with different, different things. This is essentially this criteria we're, we're um, giving the, the, the command line or the command prompts just, okay, this is what I'm, I want, I'm gonna be prompted with. This is what's gonna be held, and this is what's gonna be, what's, what I'm gonna be prompted with as I go through my grading. Um, okay, surface, cut fill slope, cut first. Set the following values for both the cut slope projection and fill slope projection property groups. Format, it's going to be slope, it's going to be four colon on one, enter, four on one, enter. This criteria creates a grade to existing surface at a four on one slope.
Make sense? We'll click OK. Now we're going to create a third grading criteria set. Remember, we're going to go with we're going to go under the ditch criteria set. We're not we're not going to create a brand new grading criteria set. We're keeping it right in here. We're going to go in here. Relative elevation at three on one slope. And we're going to set the following values for the criteria. We'll go into the criteria. Target is going to be a relative elevation. So that elevation could, could move right along with the surface. Relative elevation, negative three feet. Projection is going to be slope. Format is going to be slope. And the slope is going to be three on one. This criteria creates a grade to a relative elevation of negative three, negative three feet at a, at a three to one slope. Then we'll click OK. So now we have our grading criteria set for our ditch and it's nicely organized within the grading criteria sets. I'm keeping all of this very nicely organized. Next, we'll get into creating grading styles.